So we got to stand up for capitalism. We got to stand up for individualism. We got to stand up for choice, for values, for making decisions for ourselves, for focusing. You know, one of the things that has come through really clear in this crisis is that our leaders don't think. There is an unthinking across the board. They don't consider alternatives. They don't weigh. They don't think probabilistically. They don't accumulate evidence. They don't seek data. They seek experts to tell them what to think, to tell them what to do. We live in a culture that's unthinking, the anti-enlightenment culture, and a culture that's rejected reason, that's rejected thinking, and that adores politicians. Adores politicians. Politicians who know nothing, who are experts at nothing, who can't even get the resources together of experts to solve a problem. All they're interested in is being right, being reelected, appeasing their voters, appeasing whoever. Unthinking is the way I would categorize how leaders have responded to this crisis. And there are a few healthcare professionals out there, like Amesh Adolja, and a few others who read, I've read their op-eds in the Washington Post and New York Times that have said everything that I just said. Let us cocoon the old. In other words, separate the old from everybody else. Don't shut down the economy. Don't keep everybody home. Cocoon the elderly. Test, test, test. Identify people with the virus, isolate them. So it's a lot of work, a lot of planning, a lot of logistics, a lot of thought. But scientists back this, and the only real reason I think a lot of scientists today are so focused on shutting everything down is because they don't believe there's any other alternative given the politics. Not because they believe this is the best solution. I mean, one of the things I've heard is that a lot of them are afraid to speak up. A lot of them are afraid to speak up against Trump or to speak up against Como or to speak up against the authorities that are shutting us down. Fauci is, is, is not a model for this at all. He's conventional. And you don't, I don't get a sense that he knows more than anybody else or that he's thinking more than anybody else. He's within the administration, somebody who's at least honest enough to take it like it is. But I don't see any solutions, any alternatives, any interesting things. I would take a mesh a million times over Fauci any day. And I think the number of scientists who are being interviewed about this that are far more knowledgeable and understanding than he is. And he's in politics, so maybe he's super knowledgeable and super knows everything. But he's in politics. So he has to stay quiet. He has to follow. Yeah, on certain things he could contradict Trump, but don't go too far because you'll lose your job. The CDC, there's plenty of evidence to suggest that the CDC did not, wanted to do things very differently early on. And to basically Trump silenced them and shut them down to prevent them from doing the things that needed to be done. Yes, I love to yell. What can I do? It's, I tried before not to yell, and it came right back because some of you guys are making me angry. I mean, this is not rocket science. But if you're a collectivist and you don't want to think for yourself and you want to just buy into the rhetoric that's out there, this is what happens. And let me tell you, you should be enraged. You should be enraged by what has transpired in this country over the last three months. Not sit at home and twiddle your thumbs. You should be fighting this. You should be writing. You should be speaking. You should be engaged in activism in every way that you can. 
you should be outraged. You know, we're going to get to the point where the individual rights of 300 million people are constrained, not a little bit, not by a little bit regulation here or there, but where we're kept at home. Because our politicians are cowards and are non-thinkers, anti-thinkers. Anyway. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute using the super chat and i noticed yesterday when i appealed for uh, support for the show many of you stepped forward and actually uh supported the show for the first time so i'll do it again maybe we'll get some more today um if you like what you're hearing if you appreciate what i'm doing then i appreciate your support uh those of you who don't yet support the show please take this opportunity go to yourownbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com your own book show and um, and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next.